السلام عليكم. Um, my name is Anas, uh, one of the managing partners of Ahdaf Sports Club. I'm um, Yusuf Al Hashmi. Uh, anyway, so we're actually four. We're actually four partners. Uh, two of the other guys, uh, they they chose us to represent the rest of the company. Um, so the, basically, what we're going to be talking today about is Ahdaf Sports Club, is uh, the company that we set up in uh, January 2009. If we can get it. Okay. okay. So this is, this is, this is our uh, logo. This is our logo, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, if you can start. Um, so a bit, w what we want today is we want to give you a story, uh, more of a realistic story. So there's the good, there's the bad. It's not a perfect story. Of course, there's all the challenges, and we want to keep it as real as possible. So hopefully people who have their challenges or have things that they want to actually achieve, they realize and maybe understand something from our story. Um, We'll start with the idea of four uh, guys. Uh, I studied in Boston. Uh, the other guys all Montreal, Canada. And um, the thing is, when we were abroad, we saw all these different facilities providing super facilities, different uh, floorings, different air conditioning. Uh, and the quality was fantastic. And we always thought, you know, we have a huge gap in the UAE. We have crazy heat. And we don't have any good uh, facilities where somebody uh, from a, a, a child to a corporate person who's working wants to actually go and play sports. There has to be somewhere where they can go. So th there was the gap. What we needed to do is fill that gap. So we graduated, all of us, four of us, and we came here with that idea. The funny thing is that we know each other from, as friends, but we don't hang out with each other. But at the same time, we had a similar idea, a mini ahdaf uh, in each mind. Um, so that's one. Three and four. I think one of them has to be actually much taller yeah. for, uh, <laughs> for Yusuf. Um, so the good thing is that when you join forces, each of us had different backgrounds. I'm a mechanical engineer. There's another mechanical engineer. There's a political scientist. There's an accountant. So each ha brings something different to the table. I love football. I've played varsity. I've played semi-pro. He loves volleyball. Everybody likes something to do with sports. Uh, and when you join forces, you can actually get different angles and you bring a better understanding of what you want to achieve. So that was the first part of the formula. And then we approached Mohammed bin Rashid establishment for SME development. They loved the idea. They loved the idea that we will be actually the first in the Gulf to provide an in enclosed area with AstroTurf so you can wear your normal football shoes and play as if you're playing outdoors, but it's a, a controlled environment. So they approved it. And then some challenges came, and that's where... So the last part of the formula is. Yeah. Following up on that, finally, after we actually uh, managed to get our business plan up and running and everything together and a lot of the hard work, uh, touching back to the previous, um, previous talks that were held today, uh, it's not just having an idea, action, and then just, uh, sorry, having an idea and just going through action. You have to plan. You have to make sure everything is, is solidified. You have to make sure your business plan is solid. And that's where we got a lot of help, as uh, Anna said, with Mohammed Rashid establishment. But I think one of the most important traits um, to have for any young entrepreneur is perseverance. Uh, we, we're like small fish in a very big pond with a lot of uh, hamours, as we say. So we have to learn how to swim amongst them without getting eaten. Uh, and perseverance, it could be stubbornness, but it could be seen as a very good way. Do not accept no as an answer, as a final answer. Never take no as an answer. If we took no as an answer, we would have never had an ahdaf. Uh, we went through several different government entities to get the uh, proposals accepted and so forth so we can find a place where we can establish Ahdaf. We got rejected once, we went back. We got rejected twice, we went back a third time, we went back for the fourth time, we finally got accepted. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for our Anad or us being stubborn mules, we wouldn't have been able to get it done. Uh, if we had to use the word mind shift, I think we'll use it firstly here because uh, if, we were, if we went about it the typical way, after the first or second rejection, we'll be like, no, mm -hmm. we're too proud, uh, forget this idea, it's not worth it, and we're not going to do it. But we believed in it, and we thought, yes, if we just get a chance to, to establish this, people were going to, are going to see that. So we stuck to it. Uh, coming back to the goal, well, the goal was, of course, to bring a new facility, an excellent facility for anybody to actually uh, get a more active lifestyle. We have alarming numbers, we have high diabetes numbers, high cholesterol, and what we need to, uh, and obesity, and what we need to do is get people to be more active. Uh, when we were young, uh, we had the Fridge syndrome. Every day after uh, school, it's always in the, in the neighborhood playing, playing football or playing whatever. I remember we also had something called uh, uh, Fawal Kandora. <laughs> so if the football would actually kick 
between the Kandora and a get stop, that's actually a foul. So that was something that we brought. Um, so the good thing is that we were very active, and that was just a small generation back. And uh, nowadays we have the iPad, which I saw everybody holding today. We have the iPad generation, we have the shopping malls, and we have everything that keeps you so entertained that you don't, don't become active anymore. It's good to have those things in moderation, but at the same time, you really have to do some activities. Yeah. Uh, so then, with all the planning and everything, all the thinking and the dreaming, and we turn it into reality, alhamdulillah. So in January 2009, uh, we set up a Hadaf Sports Club. So this was our first, uh, our first facility. It's in El Goz. It's an industrial facility where we've done, we've taken out a warehouse and we've completely gutted it out. And we've set up two football fields over there. As you can see, the grass or the astro turf over here is artificial turf. The beauty of it, what makes it so different than other football facilities is that you can play with your outdoor, sh outdoor studs indoor uh, with ACs and lighting, obviously, so you can play 365 days a year. And I wouldn't say 24 hours because I think we might get fined for that. But uh, other than that, uh, we also had, like, we opened it with changing rooms. We have a store, store downstairs where you can sell uh, sport equipment and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to add an overall feel to the place where not only you just go there and you play and you leave, but it's actually a place where you can get together with your friends and compete in different things. And that's where we started developing our services uh, within Nahdaf. Uh, the most basic service, of course, is just to call and book. Anybody can call, anybody can book. And um, what we wanted to do is to add on to that. We wanted to get people to be more incited to get a three-month, six-month, or one-year booking. And they get their preferred slot that way. So that was the most basic service that you can. But we didn't want to stop there. We need to dif differentiate. Um, it's for example, uh, if we talk about supermarkets, there are 20, su or 20 supermarkets in one neighborhood. Why do you go to one rather than the other? So you have to have something to, that distinguishes your business from the others. So moving to other um, services, the competitions. We've had over 11 tournaments and leagues. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we were very lucky to have sponsors even when the time was quite tough. We were actually quite surprised. Uh, we got some good sponsors. We had some big tournaments ranging from eight uh, teams to 32 teams and what we wanted to do in our tournaments was theme them a lot of people like the idea Okay, if there's a the World Cup and there are 32 countries in the World Cup will actually have an Ahdaf World Cup Which the, will have the same nations competing and etc. So th those kind of themes really added on to it um, Adding on to the World Cup they actually we organize in such way where for example if you're uh, Argentina and you have a game against uh, the Netherlands so it will be based upon the same time, uh, the same day that the, re the, real, the real games are happening. So you get a better sense of the feeling and you finish it, you finish your game and you can go and you can watch it live. Um, Zenas was saying, so our tournaments they were ranging, sorry if you can just go back. Uh, our I tournaments were to ranging from 8 to 32 teams. Okay. And uh, one of our, the last tournament was a lot of fun. It was um, like we were very lucky to get the patronage of uh, His Highness Sheikh uh, Hamdan Mohammed bin Rashid Maktoum. And we had the Ahdaf uh, Government Entities Cup. Uh, it was the first of its kind, and it was the biggest indoor uh, football tournament during Ramadan in terms of uh, for government entities, where we offered the cash prize of over 100,000 dirhams for the winners. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun, and the beauty of it, their entry was free. So all the government entity staff could just join and play. All they had to do was show their IDs that they work within that, work within that department, and they could come and play. Obviously, with the help of sponsors and with the help of so forth, we were able to make this into a reality.